unpredicted movements, component malfunctions, or unpredicted program changes related to the robot's arm or peripheral equipment can result in contact accidents. This involves incidents such as being struck by a moving part of the robot or by parts of the tool carried or manipulated by the robot. The advantage of a fence-type barrier is that it is capable of stopping a workpiece which might be ejected by the robot's gripper while in motion. The barrier should be high enough to prevent a worker climbing over it without considerable effort. The standard minimum height for fence-type barriers is considered to be 1.5 meters high. This animation shows the layout of the physical barrier enclosing the perimeter of robot work area with an interlocked access gate. The barrier should be located with sufficient clearance outside the furthest extremes of the robot's reach with its tooling. By using an interlock gate, if the gate is opened, the robot within the work envelope immediately stops working. Safety light curtains can be used as a perimeter guard or point of operation guard. The robotic welding work cell shown here is guarded on all four sides. The back of the work cell uses a control panel and hard guards to prevent entry to the safeguarded space. The wall must be high enough to ensure that no one can reach over it into the protected area. This animation shows an example of a perimeter guard safety light curtain with horizontal beam detection. As a perimeter guard, the safety light curtain detects anyone or anything entering the robot's work envelope and stops the robot immediately. The robotic work cell can't be reactivated until it has been cleared for operation by personnel at an outside station.